Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So I got a lot to talk about today. Today I'm going to go over the turret ring, a new exhaust system, as well as changes I made to the road wheel suspension arms. And I'll also talk about the new road wheels, which I'm in the process of making right now. So first, I'm going to talk about the turret ring. Let me bring this over here where you can see it better. So this is made from 3 quarter inch plywood. It consists of a ring here. This is just routed out with a circular cutting system for the router. And it has a groove cut into the um, ring here. And I have number 40 roller chain in there, as you can see. It's bent all the way around inside. The way you do that is because roller chain doesn't bend this way. So what you have to do is you have to go in to the teeth here and cut the outside of the links where they're connected. Um, just because, so that it can bend this way. Just on one side, you don't have to do both sides but that allows you to bend it all around and then you can just put it together on the end with a master link. It's pretty simple. Um, not much to it, but you do have to get, get it right because this is a part that has to, be, has to be pretty well made. Now, what it rides on is this rail system right here. This is, again, just three quarter inch plywood, cut a circle into the same diameter as the inside of the ring. And it rides on this rail right here. Um, the rail is made out of stainless steel, um, eighth of an inch thick. It doesn't have to be stainless steel, that's just what I had. But there's a groove cut all around the outside of the, right outside the inner ring here that that fits into. And to get this bent around in there nice and evenly, I had to cut it up into pieces as you can see here, um, just so that I could bend it all around. I tried originally bending it all around in one piece but that just did not work at all. Um, it bent in everywhere so I had to scrap that and redo it. But this worked really well. And then back here I have a break in the rail about um, four inch break and a slot cut right in there. So that way I can put a gear in there that meets the, but the teeth, so the teeth on the gear meets the roller chain and then I'll pro attach that to like a hand crank or a winch motor and that will drive the turret. So there's not much to that, it's pretty simple but I just made this while I was waiting on parts for other things. And I also made the um, little stand right here for the girl and you see I have this elevated platform right here all the way around that'll support all the weight of the turret and the turret ring everything like that. Nice and strong, just angle iron on some little um, half inch um, black pipe. It's nice and sturdy. So now next thing is the new exhaust. I made a brand new exhaust system for a couple of reasons. So here it is. Um, you can see still have dual exhaust. Um, before I had the stacks on it, as you can you might remember. Um, those were, they just looked stupid. Well, I mean, they, they, they look kind of cool, but um, they look stupid once the tank's actually finished. So I changed it to this system. As you can see, I, have, I kept the dual exhaust, but instead of having the stacks come out and up, now they come out and then down, back the sides, and I have two mufflers. These are two motorcycle mufflers I have got off of a motorcycle at the junkyard, $10 each. Can't beat that, got all the piping system. Um, with them that came from the headers, everything. So I was able to cut that up, rearrange it, and reorient it how I needed it for this. I got all kinds of, there were like bends in it that I used right here. This came with the pipe. This adapter right here to go from this big size to the smaller size. There are two of those, so I used it on both sides. It worked out really well. Um, another big reason that I did, that I changed it to this is noise. Um, when I was riding it originally, it was way too loud to ride without any ear protection because you just ruin your hearing if you didn't, and it wouldn't be, and it wasn't, it would be more pleasant to ride if you didn't have to wear earmuffs. So now that I have, because that was with just 
my little homemade muffler right there. Which, I mean, it, it worked, it worked, but it still sounded like a loud lawnmower. Now that I have three mufflers in the system, instead of just one, it should quiet it down a lot. These motorcycle mufflers, they say on them, uh, what is it? They're, they're Kawasaki mufflers, I don't know exactly what, but this says they're rated for 80 decibels. 80 decibels is like a loud alarm clock, so not very pleasant, but that's 80 decibels on a much more powerful engine. Not a little lawnmower engine like I'm using here on a real big motorcycle engine. So this should quiet it down a lot, both of these. And hopefully, ideally, um, it quiet down enough you don't have to wear any ear protection. That'd be the best case scenario. But there's not much to the setup here. This was just today's project, the exhaust. Um, as you can see right here, they're connected. This is not all one piece welded together. Um, it's in three pieces. The two side pieces here and then the muffler because I didn't want to have this all together because when I have to take this part to paint it or if I have to take it apart for any other reason, I don't want to have this one big awkward piece that would probably bend. But anyways, how this is connected is there's these flanges that were attached where the exhaust originally attached to the engine on the motorcycle. So I just kind of butted them together there, welded a nut on there. Um, well, an oversized nut here for this quarter inch bolt, and they just bolt together just like that. And it works well, it works really well. I haven't gotten a chance to actually start the engine yet with these mufflers on to see how much quieter it actually is, but I'll get around to that because I don't have any fluid in the tank right now, and I didn't want to um, take the time to disconnect the pump from the engine. But that's fine, I'll, that's for a later day. And then the next thing would be. Um, the new, well, modified suspension arms. Before I had, let me get one of the ones, one of the old ones. So the old suspension arms looked like this. It was just the arm here with two nuts welded right there that a 5 8 inch bolt screwed into and that held the wheel on. Now the problem with this was I think that during the first test drive, one of these bolts bent. And if one of these bolts bent on the first test drive, that means more of them are going to bend later on. So, to be extra safe, and I didn't like that setup anyway with the bolts and regardless, so I, I didn't like that from the beginning. But what I have now, instead of that, I took off those bolts, grounded it off, and I welded on just a piece of three quarter inch round stock, six and a half inches long on every one of them. That'll be much stronger than the 5 8 bolt. I shouldn't have any problems with that bending. And then the way I will hold the wheels on there is just have, um, I'll probably make shaft collars for each side of the wheel and that'll hold it in place. So too, not too much with that. And then the new road wheels. I'm in the process of making the new road wheels. There will be five on the bottom. Actually, I have it set up kind of set up over here so you can see how that would look. Right now on there, those are just some 12 inch grinding wheels, but they're, they're the same size as the new road wheels will make. The new road wheels will be 10 inches, I mean 12 inches, 12 inches a foot. It'll look pretty much just like this. I have one, well, pieces of one right here. So, this is, well, this is still in pieces, but I'm in the process of making these. This is half the road wheel. As you can see, it's much bigger than the old ones. If you can see that's one of the old ones on there right now. And then this will be the new one. So it's much bigger as you can see. And then I'll also be remaking this entire front um, idler system. I'll take all of that off because since these new wheels are a much bigger diameter, the track will be sitting way too high. It'll be hitting the fenders if I keep this setup. So I'm going to have to remake a whole setup that's lower than this one. And I'm also going to do it, instead of this 5 8 all thread I used, I'm also going to use 3 quarter inch round stock. So I probably won't have to do this whole um, inside support system. I'll just have it from the outside out because I'll make it much stronger and I won't need to do that. Anyways, that's mostly it for now. Um, the next thing 
would be to make the, well finish making the road wheels. I'm in the process of making the road wheels. I'll do a two part video series making these. The first one will be um, just making the rims, how I made those because there's a lot of work that went into this. And then the rest will be just finishing the whole wheel itself. And then uh, just putting them together like this. So it'll look like that. I'm really happy with these new wheels, how they're coming along. The old ones were just, they're just garbage. I don't, I don't like anything about them. And I'll be glad to get them off of this and replace them with these awesome new wheels. So yeah, that's pretty much all for now. Um, everything's been coming along well. Oh, and also another thing from before. Um, I told you that the starter on the engine wasn't working. Um, I gave it to one of my dad's friends. He took it apart to see what was wrong with it. And the magnets, one of the magnets on the inside of the starter had broken and become dislodged. It was uh, undoubtedly broken when I dropped the engine on the starter. And so it ran for about 10, 15 seconds before that magnet would have become dislodged and then jammed the starter and stopped working. And I looked for, I actually found the exact starter online on replacement parts for these Kohler engines, but it was like $200 I mean, for the starter, just the starter. So I don't know. I have the pull start on here right now. It works, but I'm going to figure, I'm going to figure out something because I do want electric start for this engine. Anyways, that's the big picture right now. And yeah, it's coming along real well. I'm really excited to get these new um, road wheels made. Probably won't be too much longer till I'm finished with those. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.